going on, y'all? We about to watch a Wokey get destroyed, fam, about affirmative action. I'm just sick of this, this black. We need handouts. Hand, give it to me. Work hard. We, we need them hands out because we victims. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. it. It don't really, uh, it don't seem right to me. But let's, let's take a look at CNN with a wokies debating and getting demolished. It's one of the best clips I've seen, man. Let's get straight into it. Straight crazy. And I want to bring in now Kenny Shu, president of Color Us United, a group that advocates Kenny. against affirmative action. He's also a member of the board for Students for Fair Admissions. That's the group that brought this case against Harvard and the university. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Hey, hey my man did what he had to do. He's like, yo, what's up? It's not fair out here in these streets. We, I would like it to be fair. I want whoever has the job to have earned the job off of their merits and hard work and things of that nature. I, I don't need someone that's just like, well, you, you were a certain race. <laughs> I think that that's just ah, it's a recipe for disaster. University of North Carolina. Kenny, thank you for joining us. So today's ruling obviously is one that you mm -hmm. were hoping for, arguing that the rules uh, in place that support affirmative action were unfair to Asian Americans. So from a practical Break it down, brother. Break it down, man. I got to hear this. Perspective. How does today's decision help Asian American students looking to get into elite colleges? I just want to say I'm ecstatic about this decision. It means that Asian Americans can finally get treated on their merits. Guys, we know why Asian I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I think that everyone should be treated by their merits and all work and all that thing. All that, that stuff. I said, all them things. All that things. Americans are, should get into Harvard at disproportionate rates. It's because they study twice as many hours as the average American. It's not because of their race. It's because of their culture. It's because of their family value. Hard work. Yo, that's facts. Hey, I'm not mad at it. I think that instead of affirmative action, Let's get into the family values. Let's, let's, let's see how we can fix that. Let's make working hard a priority. Now, do I want to necessarily say school and college is for everybody? Nah. Academic excellence, that should be prioritized. Those should be the values that schools like Harvard and Chapel Hill, supposedly elite schools and academic programs, should be valuing in an applicant, not race. So you've argued also that Harvard and other colleges should get rid of their legacy admissions, which also gives people points for having a parent that, <laughs> that is crazy uh that's not happening here I, I wonder why not challenge that which is also presumptively an obstacle for asian americans being treated fairly in uh part of the game sometimes you have an unfair advantage actually it makes you better bro we're getting against or uh, not really against but alongside people that have advantages and still making it to wherever you make it makes you even better bro i'm gonna let you know that on some straight anime type of flow it does the admissions process. it genuinely does well i hope you followed the case but students for fair admissions has challenged legacy admissions repeatedly over and over again in fact we argue mm. that the way that harvard could implement some of their diversity policies without discriminating against asian americans is to get rid of legacy admissions Ooh. which as you know disproportionate so then what is she talking about she that means she don't know what she's talking about at all <laughs> my man started off i don't know if you've been following the case but clearly, you misinformed. I thought we were on the news. He's right. White applicants. In fact, 33% of Harvard students who are white are legacy, and they have a five times more likely chance of getting in if you are legacy. So you really want to ensure diversity in admissions? Get rid of legacy admissions. I ain't mad at it. I also don't care. I'm one of those people. I'm going to go hard no matter what. No matter what. It don't matter to me, um, but yeah, whatever. If you want to make it more fair, then I guess that would work, right? You know, let's take away both sides, the legacies, and let's take away the whole you're black or you're whatever color you get in. Let's take away that. That's that's affirmative action, in my personal opinion, to set up for failure. You heard today, President. In my personal Biden opinion, expressing some concerns over uh, so socioeconomic factors and inequality being made worse given this decision. Uh, he also uh, presented uh, what he called uh, another, uh, basically a way forward. I wonder if you take race out of the picture and you do what the president is suggesting, taking socioeconomic status into consideration, do you think that that would be fair to Asian American students as well? 
No, I don't. I think that admissions should be only based on merit. And the reason why is because yeah, so they're trying to say that if you make money, like if you come from a rich family, then you shouldn't be allowed a good education. That's pretty messed up. Why are they trying to say if you're poor, you deserve a better chance? Yeah, that's stupid either way. Why are we asking a university way, to stupid. calculate somebody's level of adversity? Right. I think that that's a very that sets a very bad precedent for anybody trying to get into college. We should be treated on the basis of our merits. We should be treated on the basis of how hard- Yeah, that's crazy. Why does your diversity, what skin color you are, what your race is, why does that even matter, right? Why does that matter at all? It, it makes no sense. <laughs> Yo, it's crazy. Work, our study, our SAT scores, our grades, uh, a name blind, race blind process is what I would advocate and for as president. Of course, you know. can, can, mm. can I ask you though? I, I mean, colleges yeah. obviously they care about grades and SAT scores. I mean, but no, they she come with some are stupid. Filling universities of people, human beings who have other factors that they bring to the table. Why is it not okay for them to consider those things? What the hell is she talking about? I don't know if I was supposed to be confused by that. Why are they bringing humans here? Well, I'm over here sweating. You can tell this is, is hot. And mind you, people always be like, yo, it's because you got the hoodie on. No hoodie on, still sweating bullets. It could be because I've been working out and doing more cardio. I'm purposely trying to sweat, just not now. <laughs> Maybe I need to work on my timing. I'm saying if you're going to consider those things, you should consider them without respect to race. Sure. So but, as you but, know, a lot of Asian so Americans... Right. Sure. That's exactly should, right, but, but socioeconomic status, <laughs> if, if you take race out of it, let's, let's call it socioeconomic status, where uh, whether or not they uh, were, grew up wealthy or poor is... Who kid, yo, fam, you're not hearing them. It should be based on your marriage. How hard are you working? What's your grades like? Right? These are the things that, that are important when it comes to that. Like, come on, you're wilding. You're sure you're tripping. Is that, how, is that not something that colleges might have an interest in considering? The reason why you shouldn't consider that is because you should consider the success of an applicant. Because of affirmative action, Black Americans graduate from law school at the bottom 25% of their classes. <sighs> and that's clearly because they were not prepared and not the right ones to to be selected to go there and maybe didn't even deserve it if you're at the bottom right let me not say that but you know let me say that let me say that fam um that that's a crazy stat that's insane right and i would like to know how many of those people were put in for affirmative action largely speaking what was and the test we, scores before they got want that we want black students to succeed we want every student to su su succeed low-income students to succeed but you have to put them in scenarios in places where they're likely to succeed. And lowering your standard to admit somebody of a socioeconomic status or race uh, would not help them do that. In fact, it would harm them. You're right. Rate. You're, uh, he's 100% right, ma'am. That's crazy. Lowering the standard is never a good option. Excellent. Well, as the uh, case also Make it higher. out, the standard <laughs> isn't necessarily lowered because the, if students are all admitted, it's the question is whether race can be an added consideration. It is lowered. You, that, that sounds that sounds crazy. If race is an added situation, then the standards are lowered because it's not going based off your marriage. What is she talking? And this is people that's on the news. She's a professional. She's a journalist. A tipping point. No, the standard is lowered. Standard is lowered. Kenny, the standard is lowered as superman. Yeah, she's bugging. Shout outs to Kenny. I don't know what he do. If he got a channel, I'm about to <laughs> follow. Because, yeah, don't let her say that dumb stuff. Like, no, it's just not lowered. By definition, what are you talking about? Data shows an Asian has to score 273 points higher on the SAT to have the same chance of admission as a black person. So the standard is lowered for black people. That's messed up. Thank you for your perspective. We really appreciate it. Oh, just get up out of there. Huh? <laughs> just get up out of there after he destroyed you. After he made you look foolish out here in these streets. And let's get rid of him now. It's a shame, fam. Straight shame. Yeah, I'm riding with what he was saying. The woman wasn't making any sense. And it sucks because this is supposed to be her job. Straight crazy. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button, all that good stuff. Watch more videos. Sign up for my Patreon or my channel memberships if you're able to. Gives you exclusive and early access as well as access to my my podcast.
I got a podcast. You can check it out on memberships or you can check it out via Patreon as well. And check out my music. All the links to everything I just said are in the description.